How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary texts? Looking at this survey I created, which asks individuals their thoughts on the overall effectiveness of the combination of my music video, Digipack and magazine advert, it is clear from the response that having fluency throughout all three of my products is an important factor. Looking at other artists and their existing music video and products, in particular 30 Seconds to Mars, there are multiple themes and consistent features which occur throughout. The band's use of Damien Hirst's 2011 Gloss on Canvas work on several of their products ties them together, which therefore strength, strengthens them as a package. 30 Seconds to Mars's use of the recognisable image throughout their products provided me with a great deal of inspiration when I began creating my main product and ancillary texts. The use of the kaleidoscope was a significant feature which shows continuity throughout all three products. The kaleidoscope solely features on both my digipack and magazine advert and is seen throughout my music video on several occasions. The theme of nature was something that was very important to us when creating our music video and I chose to continue this theme in my digipack and magazine advert, however it is very subtle. The kaleidoscope was made using our existing footage of trees and nature. This subtle use of nature gives a sense of freedom, correlating both my digipack and magazine advert with the feel-good theme and the natural setting of my music video. The use of editing techniques is also seen across the three products I produce. Layering was a prominent feature in the music video and is also seen on the magazine advert and on the inside panel of my digipack. As the music video begins, the identity of the band is concealed with the use of the silhouettes. As the video proceeds, the band is eventually revealed, however, their faces are somewhat disguised with the layering of the kaleidoscope, which continues throughout. The use of the layering and hiding the identity of the band is something which I wanted to also include in my ancillary texts as I thought this element of not revealing the band completely was conventional of the indie genre, as it adds a sense of mystery. Therefore, I chose to use the image of the kaleidoscope layered on top of an image of the band. The colour scheme and text of my magazine advert and digipack correlate. They conform to the style of the indie genre as the text and colour scheme together on top of the white background is very simplistic and creates quite a youthful feel, relating it to the young cool vibe of the song and therefore aiming it at our target audience. The creation of storyboards and mood boards were helpful in the researching and planning stages of my main product and ancillary texts. Together, they offered visual aids which enabled us to create a story for the music video and we were also able to identify themes which could then be used in all three products. Taking all of these factors into account, it is clear that there is an effective combination between my main product and ancillary texts due to the continuing features that are seen in all three products.